Hello, I'm Manuel and welcome to my place. Today I'm shooting some candies and the reason for that is I would like to show you my workflow, how I can shoot with a Sony a7 III tethered to my laptop into Lightroom. To do that, I am using a software called Smart Shooter 4. It's by Tether Tools and it's been working great for me for about a year and a half. So I wanted to show you a little bit how this software work and where it fits into my workflow. It's not going to be an in-depth review about the software. If you're interested into that, just leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. So first thing first, we're going to take a look at my camera. You can take a look, it's just tethered all the way through my computer. So once you have a camera that's connected properly, the next step will be to open Smart Shooter 4. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now, if you make this full screen, we'll take it on the top left here. You'll see the active camera is selected as my camera. So the software will detect domestically the camera that's plugged in properly to your laptop. So you can press the detect button if it's not happening automatically, or you can disconnect it if you wanted to. The next thing I do is I go to live view and I will enable this. So now as you can tell, the software is showing me what my camera is seeing. So that's great. So I usually go and press this button right away. And after that, you get all of the feature of the camera right here on the, on the left. You can change the aperture if you want it to, for example, to f2.8 by clicking on the minus button here and vice versa, bring it back to 5.6. So everything will change live. You'll be able to see that in what you see the live view on the right and it will work straight to your camera as well. So that's a great feature. Now, if we move on to the right, you can see that there is like a zoom live view loop. It's about 312% to be precise, the zoom that you've seen there. So you can take a look at your composition and see uh, if you like what you see there or change the focus, if you want another area to be in focus and so forth. Another thing you can do is use the grid mode, which I use uh, quite a bit actually. Uh, it helped with my composition. I like that feature, but for, in this case, we just said take it off. And then the next thing I'll do once my composition is like I want it, I'll go to preview, live view, and then if I need to change and rotate the view of what I see in the software, I can do it from there. So there's one thing about Smart Shooter 4, sometimes if you rotate your camera for landscape uh, and you go vertical, then sometimes you'll have to switch the actual view manually by using this little toggle right here, little arrow. So once that's done and I'm seeing what I want to see and I'm happy with my composition and so and everything else, I can move on and go to Lightroom. So we'll open Lightroom. Okay, so now we're in Lightroom. We're gonna go to File. We're gonna go to Theater Capture and start a Theater session. So I get my session name, I get my location and everything I wanted. I'm going to press OK on this. Now you can tell that I have done some tests and I already have some photos in this folder. So that's a neat thing. If something were to happen that you have to close both software, you can just go back. As long as you need, you reuse the same session name and your location, you can jump back right into where you left into your session. So that's a neat thing. Okay, now you can see there I'm moving a bar. I'm gonna put it right here. And you'll see the camera name, you'll see Smart Shooter 4, the setting that I have set up, and then it will be a button here. So that is telling me that Lightroom now recognized my camera. And it's using Smart Shooter 4 to do this, to do this, sorry, and it's working just fine. So all I gotta do now is press the button, and at this point I should be able to capture an image. Here we go. So that's, I'm gonna move that down now. So that's the capture we just took there. So you can take a look, make sure everything is fine. Now let's say you don't really like something, you wanna change perhaps the aperture. You can go back to Smart Shooter and without touching a camera like I showed you earlier, we're gonna switch that to let's say, uh, let's go F2.8. Gonna go wide open on this one. And then what the neat thing is you can take a look and see what the actual, uh, if I change the shutter speed, what it'll look like 
live. So you don't have to do the math and do the stops and everything. If you don't want to, you can just take a look at what it would look like. And once you're satisfied with the changes, you go back to Lightroom and you can press again. You can see that the changes took effect into the bar. And then we have this new photo. That's the one with the F5.6. And this is the one we took an F2.8. So then again, you can take a look, zoom, make decision what you want to do next. So that's in a nutshell how I use Smart Shooter 4. Now, when it works great, it works great. As soon as you start bumping your cable into a camera or moving a camera around and something gets disconnected, uh, there's a few steps you need to take. So what I will do here is I will unplug my camera from the computer and see what happens. So I'm just gonna go and take this off here. So now my camera is no longer connected to my laptop. Now Lightroom lost track of the camera and it says detecting camera. So this is what's happening. The connection between the camera and Lightroom is not happening at all. So if you try to shoot feathered without using Smart Shooter 4 and your camera is properly connected to your laptop, you will see this message and Lightroom will never recognize your Sony camera. So we're going to go back to Smart Shooter. You can tell here now my camera is not displaying there. So what I will do now is I will replug my camera into my laptop. It's connected once more. Sometimes the camera, the camera will be detected right away. It will be connected and sometimes it doesn't work. So in that instance, what I do is I'll go and close Lightroom. And I'll see and I'll wait a few seconds. If that doesn't work, I will close Smart Shooter 4. Now we're going to start this over again. We're going to reopen Smart Shooter 4 and right away I've got my camera connected into the software. So I'll enable this, go back to live view, happy with that. And then we're going to reopen Lightroom. And once that's done, we're going to go back to our session. So by going to file and start a feather capture. And just like that, all the same information that was before. Now we're back in business. I can take a photo. And then here we go. That's my photo number nine that I just took after the camera got disconnected. So that's the only annoying thing is sometimes you have to close everything to start over again. So just be mindful of that. If you walk around your cable, I suggest that you secure your cable as best as you can so that doesn't happen. So hopefully you can make your mind if you want to purchase this software or not after watching this video. It's been working great for me for about a year and a half. We'll stay in my workflow until Lightroom and Sony work together but until then I will have to keep using the software so this is how it's going to be so thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video